morning everybody happy saturday i'm just having my coffee watching for the dog um i just wanted to film my day today because i haven't filmed all week um just because i've been so busy and come on here and say out loud that i'm the fattest i've ever been in my life and i need to get back to tracking i didn't track anything this week as you guys know i don't really i don't do weight watchers anymore um, I've just kind of been tracking my macros and I went back into my like stuff on my phone and I found my macros that my friend gave me for like when I wasn't working out just because I've been getting to the gym a few times a week but I'm not gonna make myself sick about because I was getting there four or five times a week um, so I just need to get my eating under control because I've been eating everything and I just don't feel comfortable anymore I just feel kind of gross you know what I mean like I've gained 10 pounds since last like it's not that much but I've gained 10 pounds since over the past year and I just kind of need to get focused and the best way that I do that is by telling you guys and filming my videos and getting it out there because then I feel like I have to I know last week I said 10 pounds before the next round and then this week happened I don't know how I happened I gained a pound I worked out three times but I'm not tracking my food that's the problem I mindlessly snack I mindlessly if you track your food you do great because you see what you're eating and you know that you ate too much or too little or the wrong things and I just need to get back to tracking my food so that is my goal to get back to tracking and sharing it with you guys because then I'm kind of accountable um, it is Saturday morning I here comes Buster finally he's been out there forever the neighbors got a new dog so I'm afraid to just like let him out without because usually he'll just come up to the door get in here but I'm afraid he'll see the dog and run and the dog looks like a fluffy toy to him and God knows what he'll do come on so gotta watch him um he's such a good boy though um where was I so we're back to that this week um <laughs> anyway so my coffee that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about I started adding vital proteins, collagen peptides to my coffee because I read that um, it's great for your skin. Um, I know that I'm late on this like bandwagon um, and I just want to see if I notice a difference in my skin and my nails and stuff and my hair and it just, I've been putting it in my coffee every morning. Just one scoop, two scoops seems like a lot. That's the serving um, and it's just protein. Um, I just want to it's been keeping me full this week with my coffee because as you guys know I get to work I don't eat my breakfast until like 10 30 and just because I'm not a wake up and eat breakfast kind of girl I've been having my coffee and I just feel like that little bit of protein keeps me full um so yeah that's where we're at I'm not going to see my family today just because I don't know what the weather is going to be we're supposed to get like some kind of storm in New Jersey but none of the weather people can ever get the weather right. So I'm just nervous to drive 45 minutes there and then it starts snowing, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna stay home, stay local because I do have to go to the grocery store. Um, tomorrow I'm going to visit my friend Danielle um, and my sister's gonna come because we're gonna have the two little babies have a play date and I just can't wait to watch them be so cute together. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm doing tomorrow. Maybe I'll make this one weekend vlog and film a little of that, I don't know. Um, Else. I have off Monday so I'll definitely be able to fill my day Monday I just need to get back into feeling my life because I'm starting to feel a little bit better after everything because we're closer and closer to the, our next step like we have another doctor's appointment soon and um, I'm just starting to feel like a normal human again now I just need to stop eating my feelings and get back to healthy Gina that did so well like two years ago um so i need to get back in that mindset breakfast i'm going to make some of uh, this no sugar bacon and some protein waffles again um and i'll try to do myself some eggs have a nice big breakfast so i won't need to have lunch or have lunch later because it is 10 30 already so i'm gonna make us some brunch so i'm making these waffles i need to find a um, gluten-free version um but these are pretty darn good um, i'm using my handy dandy waffle maker i found the exact one and it's linked in my amazon store it's down below this thing is amazing and i'm obsessed i've had it for five years probably and it works just as good as new it does come with like a little plate down here 
but I lost it, <laughs> but no big deal. And so you just wait for that to turn green. You don't really have to wait. I never, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I don't really set timers. I don't do things like that uh, unless I'm baking, but I kind of know when it's hot enough and um, you know when your waffles are done when you check on them. You don't really need a light to tell you when your waffle's done. But um, I'm gonna get this in here. I don't know what that sound was. I guess the pan just moved um and yeah so i make rob like a really full-size pancake pancake waffle and then i measure out mine if you watched last weekend's vlog you know what i mean all right see i'm not gonna wait for that light to turn green because it might burn by then let's check it out oh gosh this is perfect i might let it go for actually for a few more seconds This is like the phone holder I've been using and it doesn't work anymore. I need to get a new one. My phone doesn't like clasp here. I'll show you guys. I'm so annoyed. I think it was like $8 on Amazon. Um, I'm also obsessed with this right now. It is a um, battery charger for your phone, like an on the go one. Um, and I'm obsessed. Watch it work now. No, see the phone like falls right out. It doesn't click anymore. It's hardly even, oh, there we go working right now um, I might go back to pop socket life um, I just always break them and break this thing I don't know but um, I'm still trying to figure out what to do um, I'm gonna mount my phone my camera though so I can't see then it doesn't come out easy this thing is just annoying um, oh there we go we set that off maybe I just need to find a better one like this because I like it up high um, but this is what I use to mount my camera Round and round. Hope there's no neighbors out thinking I'm a weirdo. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this actually charges my phone a lot faster than plugging it into the car, which is why I have it plugged in in here. We are headed to the mall, guys. I'm in the mood for some retail therapy to make myself feel better, and I don't feel like going to the gym, so I'm gonna go walk around the mall. Um, I have work tonight at six, and it's noon now and Rob's just being lazy in the house. I didn't feel like just watching TV all day. So I'm gonna run to the mall. I did buy, I bought a bra a while ago. I hope they let me return it. The tag was ripped off, but I have it and I have the receipt. Um, so I hope they let me return it. It just doesn't fit, it's too small. Unfortunately, I don't fit into a double D anymore. And um, I, I might go to Nordstrom and see if I can find a good bra size. Some, a lady at work told me that she gets her bras there and she's a little bit bigger like me. And um, like bra size bigger. I mean, I'm getting pretty large anyway, <laughs> size wise. Um, but I'm just like in the mood to just like go to the mall, browse, shop. I have a little extra money in my budget right now. And um, I haven't bought myself anything in a while. This might make me feel better trying on stuff and it also might help me kick into like better eating i so far so good today i tracked my whole breakfast it was um fit my macros perfectly i have a ton of macros left um i love that kodiak cake uh, waffle mix it's so cold but if i turn the heat up you can't hear me my last video it was annoying the hell out of me um when i was editing it because all you heard was the heat in the background um so we're gonna go to the mall. I'm gonna get some Starbucks. Um, I see Erin Williams all the time having like a coconut milk latte and my sister's been having coconut milk lattes and I tried one and it was delicious. Just like no flavor, just the coconut milk and the latte. So um, I have drop points. I could treat myself to some free Starbucks. If you guys have not signed up yet for drop, not sponsored, just something that I've been loving. Um, I have a link down below for you to get $5 off of if you use my link you get like 5,000 points which equals five dollars and then you sign up like you pick like five of your favorite stores and you earn points and your points add up to like gift cards so like my stores are Target, Trader Joe's, I think Bath and Body Works which I need to go buy today, um, Dunkin and Starbucks so every time I shop at those stores I get points automatically and it equals free Starbucks. I really only ever use my points for free coffee. Um, 
I haven't had to pay for like Starbucks in forever because I keep earning gift cards. So definitely go check out the link down below. Sorry for all of that clicking. Um, for your $5 off. Not $5 off. For your free $5 to drop. Um, so yeah, let's head to the mall, guys. Really quickly, um, I just wanted to talk about something. Um, so I watch Meg, Meg Lee, Meg, Vita La Meg, I don't know, her videos. And I love her. But I was watching her last video um, and I just feel like she was talking about how like social media and like being on YouTube makes her feel like crappy about herself and I just I just want to give her a hug and I just don't under I don't maybe it's just like younger people younger than me that like care more like what people think and like having their Instagram a certain way I'm not talking about her anymore just like in general she like mentioned that like people make like their Instagram look a certain way or their videos look a certain way and it's like I am so never gonna be that person like I was looking back on a lot of bloggers I follow and a lot of youtubers and like that's fine for you like people that I love like they make their I didn't realize it until Meg had mentioned it in her video um, she was saying that like people like have like their Instagrams look a certain way and then I was like looking back at some people and people do like they have like their Instagrams like I guess through like a filter I don't know how they do it but all their pictures have like the same filter and they look similar and I was thinking like I don't maybe I'm just lucky I don't feel pressured to ever make anything look a certain way I was talking to my sister a while back and she was like so I was talking about like the growth of my channel it's like slower which is fine for me and she's like well you just need like a better something better lighting better this better that and I'm like I am never gonna fake the way things look in like my house you guys know me um it's gonna always look real I'm not gonna like I love Lauren McBride love her she influences me to buy everything but I feel like she tries so hard to make everything look perfect and I get like that's her job that's her money that's like her blog I'm never gonna be that person I'm never gonna make everything look perfect like decorated wise and I don't even have kids and I can't keep it together I don't know how she does it with three kids but everything always looks so perfect I don't know if like this is getting anywhere but ties back to like what Meg was saying it stresses her out and it's just like I just want to tell her that it doesn't matter like it just doesn't matter that everything looks perfect and I guess maybe because she has a lot way more subscribers and way more followers than me but I just it doesn't matter to me. I don't know if it's just I'm confident in my own self, but I'm never gonna make my videos look perfect. I'm never gonna stage things. It's never gonna be that way over here. I just, I don't know what I'm trying to say by this. I just feel like people need to stop trying to fit a certain mold and just be yourself because it's just, it's too much pressure on yourself to try to be like everybody else. And I feel like all those people that make it look put together all the time are just gonna one day explode and be like life can't always just pretend to look perfect like I was following I follow somebody I'm not gonna mention any names but like they went all out for like a birthday party like a photo shoot just to post on Instagram and it's like why like for their kid and I, I I'm just assuming it was for like Instagram and stuff but it's like what a waste of money one for all of those things just to be in a picture and two like I can't imagine like feeling like oh my god I have to like wake up and like make everything look like picture perfect just so I could like post a picture I don't know maybe I'm just the crazy one let me know your thoughts on all this I don't even know if this makes sense I'm just trying to like brain dump here I don't know. let's go shopping so much stuff guys I found a few things for my mom I'm just gonna try all of this stuff on just like basics uh, trying these on because of Lauren McBride she's awful influence I love this. This is a large. Look at the back. So cute. I think yeah, still this. So now this is just a long sweatshirt with my own pants. I love this. I think this is a large. Yes, because I like it. 
I'm very oversized. Um, and now these are just like some basic tanks I need for like under work clothes. Clearly, I'm not summer body ready. I need bigger sports bras. Like look at the top boot. Um, but I like the length on these. I get a lot of camel toe and these cover them. But I'm not gonna, I have this one and in black. I'm gonna get both of these. Last thing, this is for work. I also have this in red that I wore for Christmas. Um, this is on clearance and it's a little staticky. Um, the price is 24, so I guess it'll be 40% off of that. I love it. Guys, I got a new bra, candles, lots of stuff from Old Navy. Ton of crap in my bag. Now I need to go to Target. I have a few things to get there. I'm not doing a full food shopping, but just like things I need at Target, like dog food, paper towels, coffee, even though I've been loving the coffee at Aldi. I don't know what I'm gonna get to Aldi and we have enough for like one cup of coffee and that's never gonna fly for tomorrow. <sighs> hey, little Buster's food. Hey guys, sorry, my mount won't stay because it's so cold. It's weird to have you down here. Um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry I didn't finish filming at Target. It was a madhouse. I don't, we're, so there's like a snowstorm coming, but we're like, I think it's gonna turn to rain. It's too warm. Let me move you, that was weird. Um, but Target was insane and there was like 15 people in an aisle. I was making me anxious, so sorry I didn't finish. But I did have um, a Power Crunch bar while I was shopping and a Baby Bell cheese. So I'm at work. Um, I ordered a Cobb salad to eat. This thing is huge. Um, I'm actually going to like take some of it out and like put it on a plate because I'm not gonna eat all of this. It like goes deep. And they gave me some kind of dressing. I'll just drizzle a little bit on top. So technically this salad could probably be two servings. Um, came with bread, I'm gonna throw it out so I don't eat it. Ta-da! All right, so now I'm done with dinner. I'm gonna have a cup of coffee because I'm gonna be here late. And coffee just makes everything better. I just wanted to end this video. And thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video hopefully i'm still tracking all of my food wish me luck